Welcome back to my channel, YouTubers. Today I'll take you on a quick tour of Shujo. If you think Xi'an has a deep history and lots of little terracotta warriors, don't forget Shujo. Shujo has a very deep history from ancient China. Shujo's history dates back to the Han Dynasty, 260 BC to 220. That's a long time ago. First Han Emperor, Gaozu, was born in that area and became the second cultural political center of the nation during the Han Dynasty. The three most special things that have come from the Han Dynasty in this area Got to be the Han tombs, terracotta warriors with lots of little horses and lots of little men. And the tombs are surrounded by thousands of miniature warriors and miniature horses, which were actually found under the actual river and the lake in this area. Everything's been beautifully preserved as it was. And it's deep underground at the right, at the same level it was when it was actually built. It's quite an amazing journey underground down these deep, deep tunnels. The surrounding areas, the beautiful gardens, are absolutely a must see. You need to go around May, it's the ideal time of the year, the weather's perfect. We stayed in a beautiful hotel right beside the lake. We were able to stay in a beautiful hotel right beside the amazing Yulong Lake. It's well known as a special destination for romantic getaways. Beautiful scenery, early in the mornings, late in the evenings. Most beautiful place to go for a walk and soak in the fresh air. The city itself today it's got a bit over 10, 10 and a half million people. So it's not a small city by any means, but it's got a very deep history from ancient China. The city's also got a name, Pengchang, because over 4,000 years ago, Pengzi, the father of Chinese cuisine, lived there. Nearly every dish has legend and historic links to Pengzi. Special traditional dish to must try when you're there. Yang Feng Sang Yu, stewed fish in mutton. The dish originated over 4,000 years ago and is quite special. The chef actually cut open the belly of a sheep, put a fish inside it with seasonings and stew them together. The taste is insane, it's so beautiful. Other famous dishes, also created by Peng Zhu, the master as they call him, is a pheasant soup called Sha Soup. It's first named the first soup under heaven by Emperor Qinlong of the Qing Dynasty, 1644. And it's delicious as well. It's made with a pheasant meat, pig bones, pork together with shallots, and oh my god, it's delicious. Often you often eat for breakfast. For the local, by the local people. If you want to know more, please hit me up in the comments and I'll try to fill in the blanks and give you some more tips on what to do while you're there and how to get there.